my name is Basir. In this video, I'll be teaching you about covalent bonds and the formation of covalent bond from Chapter 8, Chemical Bonding, Class 10, Telangana State Syllabus. But before I do that, I would like to recap what we have learned in our previous video. In the previous video, we saw that the elements on the left hand side of the periodic table belonging to group 1A, 2A, 3A, which are mostly metals, they tend to lose electrons and form the positive ions. Positive ions are known as cations. This property of losing electrons to form positive ions is known as metallic character or electropositive character. And the elements on the right hand side of the periodic table belonging to group 5A, 6A, 7A, which are mostly non-metals, they tend to gain electrons to form negative ions. Negative ions are known as anions. This property of losing, this property of gaining electrons to form negative ions is known as non-metallic character or electronegativity. So elements on the left hand side of the periodic table they tend to lose the electrons to attain octet. Octet is nothing but getting eight electrons in the outermost orbit or getting eight valence electrons is known as octet. So sodium, magnesium, aluminium which are on the left hand side of the periodic table they lose the valence electrons. They lose the electrons in the outermost orbit and they now get 8 electrons in the valence shell and they attain the electronic configuration of their nearest inert gas 2 comma 8 that's the electronic configuration of neon which is a inert gas in the same way elements on the right hand side of the periodic table phosphorus sulfur chlorine they gain electrons so that they can attain octet meaning so that they can have 8 electrons in the outermost orbit. Now 2 comma 8 comma 8 add up these electrons 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 8 is 18 18 is the atomic number of argon. So phosphorus, sulfur and chlorine they gained electrons to achieve the inert gas configuration of their nearest inert gas which is or argon wants to form cations or gaining electrons to form anions depends on the following factors atomic size ionization potential electron affinity and electronegativity atomic size is nothing but the size of the atom and Ionization potential. Ionization potential is the minimum energy required to remove an electron from the outermost orbit. Electron affinity. Electron affinity is the energy released when an electron is added to a neutral gaseous atom. This is electronegativity. Electronegativity is the tendency of an atom to pull the shared pair of electrons towards it. This is something that I'll explain you when I uh, explain about covalent bond formation in a bit or or you can also say that electronegativity is nothing but the ability of an atom or tendency of an atom to gain electrons and form a negative ion the tendency of losing electrons to form cations or gaining electrons to form anions depend on the following factors atomic size ionization potential electron affinity and electronegativity you have to just keep one thing in mind the atoms with high atomic size they can easily lose electrons to form cations and the atoms with small atomic size they can easily gain electrons to form anions so the atoms of elements with high atomic size the atoms which have high atomic size will obviously have low ionization energy low electron gain uh, electron affinity and low electronegativity if the atomic size is high which means if the atomic size is large all the other three factors that you see here the other three factors that you see here ionization potential electron affinity and electronegativity they will be low and the atoms with small atomic size they can easily gain electrons to form negative ions which are nothing but anions if atomic size is small all the other three factors ionization potential electron affinity electron negativity will be high so the atoms of elements with low ionization energy low electron affinity high atomic size and low electronegativity form cations in the same way atoms of elements with high ionization potential high electron affinity small atomic size and high electronegativity form anions 
So by now you must be aware that an ionic bond is formed by transfer of electrons from one atom to the other while a covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons between atoms. Let us see the formation of fluorine molecule. Fluorine, let us first write down the um, Lewis, sim Lewis symbol for fluorine. I have already taught you how to write down the Lewis symbol, right? You just need to first write down the chemical symbol of the element. So fluorine, the chemical symbol of fluorine is the letter F and then I need to write down the valence electrons around this element. Fluorine atomic number is 9, electronic configuration 2,7. So it has 7 valence electrons. I have to write down the valence electrons around the symbol of the element right so I'm go going to first put one dot at a time along the four sides of my imaginary square I've already talked about this imaginary square in, in uh, one of my previous videos so I'm going to first write down uh, I'm going to first put one dot along the four sides of my imaginary square one two three four fifth electron gets paid sixth electron gets paid the seventh electron gets paid so all these seven valence electrons I have written those seven valence electrons around the symbol of the element so that's the Lewis symbol for fluorine atom which we see here don't you see this thing and this thing is matching right here so that's a Lewis symbol for fluorine atom but here in the other fluorine atom what we are doing uh, we but here in the other fluorine atom uh, we don't have we have two electrons on the left but one electron on the right hand side here you have one electron on the left two electrons on the right hand side why this way see this is also correct this is also correct we just need to make sure that the unpaired electrons face each other that that's the reason we have rearranged the electrons so that the unpaired electrons they face each other now you always need to remember that bond formation takes place only between unpaired electrons so the unpaired electron of this fluorine atom and the unpaired electron of the other fluorine atom they are both shared between both the fluorine atoms these two unpaired electrons which take part in bonding are re replaced by a straight line which we call it as bond so these two electrons combine to form a bond now this is written down here in the form of a diagram fluorine with its seven valence electron the other fluorine with its seven valence electrons these two unpaired electrons they are shared between both the fluorine atoms now if you consider this fluorine atom how many electrons it has now two four six seven eight this fluorine atom now has eight electrons which means it has attained octet it has achieved the octet the other fluorine atom also have what, two four six eight electrons previously they had seven valence electrons now because because of sharing of electrons each of the fluorine atom is able to attain the octet meaning they now have eight valence electrons let us now look at the formation of oxygen molecule oxygen atomic number is 8 electronic configuration 2,6 which means it has 6 valence electrons so we first write down the uh, chemical symbol of oxygen which is the letter O and then we write down 6 valence electrons around the symbol of the element obviously we have rearranged the electrons a bit so that the unpaired electrons they face each other these two unpaired electrons they combine to form a bond and the other two unpaired electrons they also combine to form one more bond so in oxygen we have a total of two covalent bonds so oxygen forms a double bond the same thing has been written down here in the form of a diagram you can now see that each oxygen atom has eight valence electrons so so both the oxygen atoms achieved the octet configuration previously this oxygen atom had only how many valence electrons six valence electrons because of sharing now each oxygen atom has eight electrons you can count it two four five six seven eight so this oxygen atom right here it has eight valence electrons this oxygen atom is also now having eight valence account electrons because of sharing of electrons between them let us see the formation of nitrogen Nitrogen atomic number 7 electronic configuration 2,5 it has 5 valence electrons so nitrogen with its 5 valence electrons we have written down here the Lewis symbol of the other nitrogen is here 
the unpaired electrons obviously are facing each other these two unpaired electrons they combine to form a bond these two unpaired electrons they also combine to form a bond and these two unpaired electrons they do combine to form a bond so in nitrogen molecule we have three covalent bonds so we say that nitrogen forms a triple bond you can see here previously the nitrogen atom had two three four five five valence electrons now because of sharing of electrons now this nitrogen atom has two four six eight eight electrons in the valence orbit the other nitrogen atom also has eight valence electrons meaning both of them achieved the octet let us now see the formation of methane molecule methane the chemical formula is ch4 meaning it has one carbon and four hydrogen atoms carbon atomic number of carbon is six electronic configuration two comma four it has four valence electrons so carbon with its four valence electrons is written here hydrogen atomic number one so hydrogen with one electron is written here right now you can think of it uh, think of this uh, in this way this hydrogen atom with its unpaired electron gets attached to this electron and this hydrogen atom with its unpaired electron gets attached to the other uh, unpaired electron of the carbon atom and this hydrogen atom is getting attached here this hydrogen atom is getting attached here so the unpaired electrons of carbon and hydrogen they combine to form a bond the unpaired electron of carbon and hydrogen they combine to form a bond so in total we have how many bonds four single bonds four covalent bonds after the covalent bond formation we can see that carbon which initially had four valence electrons after the formation of methane carbon has eight electrons in the valence orbit hydrogen each hydrogen atom now has two electrons hydrogen is not able to achieve the octet but the good thing is hydrogen now has two electrons so its first orbit is completely filled you you, you must be aware that the first orbit can hold a maximum of two electrons and hydrogen has those two electrons right let us now see the formation of ammonia molecule the chemical formula for ammonia is nh3 meaning it has one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms nitrogen atomic number seven electronic configuration two comma five so it has five valence electrons nitrogen with its five valence electrons is written down here hydrogen atomic number one which means it has one valence electron you can think of it in this way this hydrogen with its unpaired electrons gets attached to this electron this unpaired electron of nitrogen this hydrogen atom with its unpaired electron gets attached to the other unpaired electron of nitrogen and the third hydrogen atom with its unpaired electron gets attached to the third unpaired electron of nitrogen in this way and so these two electrons they form one bond these two bonding electrons they form one bond and these two bonding electrons they form the other bond the two unpaired electrons two paired electrons they don't take part in bonding i have already told you before and i'll repeat it once again that bond formation takes place only between unpaired electrons so these two paired electrons we are going we are writing as it is so ammonia molecule it has three covalent bonds and one unpaired electron which is not taking part in bonding which does not take part in bonding after the formation of ammonia molecule the nitrogen atom previously with it had five valence electrons now it has six valence electrons you can see here no sorry it has eight valence electrons two four six seven eight so this nitrogen atom it has eight valence electrons and each hydrogen atom has now has two electrons so nitrogen is able to achieve its octet now we'll see uh, the last example now this is the last uh, example that i'm going to talk about in the formation of uh, covalent bond water molecule with its chemical formula h2o it has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom oxygen the atomic number is eight electronic configuration two comma six so it has six valence electrons so oxygen with its six valence electrons is written down here hydrogen atomic number one it has one valence electron this unpaired electron of hydrogen gets attached to this unpaired electron of oxygen and the unpaired electron of the other hydrogen atoms get attached to the uh, unpaired the the second unpaired electron of oxygen 
and so these two electrons they combine to form one bond and then these two electrons combine to form the other bond so after the formation of hydrogen molecule you can see that oxygen has two four six eight eight valence electrons so oxygen is has attained the octet oxygen is able to achieve the octet meaning it now has eight valence electrons and hydrogen is again happy because it has two valence electrons and the only orbit that it has is the first orbit the first orbit can hold a maximum of two electrons and it already has these has those two valence electrons so it is stable right so a covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons between the atoms. These charts have been prepared by Sumaya and Mariam. Video editing is done by Faisal Khan. I'll talk about drawbacks of electronic theory of valence and most probably um, about bond length and bond energy in the next video. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye.